Good evening, chaps and chapesses. Uh, did do a video yesterday. I'll try that again because I don't even think I understood that. I didn't do a video yesterday. Um, <laughs> sometimes I swear my words just roll into one long word, especially if I'm not thinking. Anyway, uh, it's eight thirty at night on Wednesday the 1st of June so we're te technically almost halfway through the year technically almost okay <laughs> right and uh, this is the weather we've had since the beginning of the week just Dull, wet, miserable, had some fog thrown in as well. It's just like a winter's day out there. And that has been for at least the last three days. You wouldn't think summer was... It's like summer has just got up and left. Which is a bit sad because... Uh, pardon me. Oh dear. I've just stuffed some chocky bickies and a couple of sandwiches. Something stuck on my tooth. A bit of biscuit, I think. Biscuit. But I'm not sure if I prefer to use the word cookie or biscuit. I think I'd have to go for biscuit. I think I'd have to go British on this one. Although I do have this habit, probably because I, you know, I speak to Americans on a daily basis, have done since 2005, so sometimes a few American words do slip through, <laughs> such as hood and trunk. Uh, as one slipped out on the way home from Mum's today when uh, we were talking in the car. <laughs> uh, it was absolutely F all down the dump um, although they've got a new charity to support this thank you for that a new charity to support this year um, it seems like they do they support a different charity each year basically with the recycling shop they have set up down there some of the proceeds from that shop go to the company uh, which I believe is May Gurney have the contract again and some go to a chosen charity and it appears um, a wildlife charity I can't remember what they call themselves now but a wildlife charity has um, been chosen this year so for the next 12 months a portion of the proceeds will be donated to them. So, uh, just think um, how many times I'll be helping out that charity every time I buy a bike. <laughs> so, uh, it's not a bad thing, really. You know, everybody wins. Well, speaking of bikes, my Claude Butler from Sunday is... Uh, it's in working order now, anyway, the brakes work, the gears are all working. Had to change the um, rear derailleur for just a, a simpler, older version. Uh, mainly because the tawny that was on there had busted... Dear me. Busted jockey wheels in it. Or worn out jockey wheels, I should say, and uh, I didn't have any spare. And uh, the one derailleur I did have spare, identical to what was on there, was bent and twisted, so I couldn't use that one either. And the chain didn't like the jockey wheels in that, it kept sliding off, so I didn't see no point taking the jockey wheels out of that one to put in the original one that came off this bike, because I had would have had the same problem. So I just found another one up, another half decent one up and threw that on there, and everything is functioning. 
we've got a couple of, uh, I don't know how what they're showing up now, there's a couple of red reflectors on there, as per uh, British road laws. It's not just bikes that I've got to have them. All vehicles on British roads have to have red rear reflectors, including trailers. Um, lorry trailers or trailers over a certain length have to have amber ones on the side. And if they're a certain length, they also have to have marker lights. Uh, and again, if they're a certain width, car trailers that is, they also have to have marker lights on the um, wheel wells, fenders, mud guards as we'd call them here, um, to mark that it's a wide trailer, you know, as well as the tail lights on the back. Uh, but with a bicycle they've just got to have the amber pedal reflectors and the red rear reflectors. I don't need two. I could have got away with just one, but I thought uh, just the one would have looked a bit odd. So uh, as I've got stacks of reflectors anyway, I just figured I'd chuck one on each side. Easiest place to put them as well, because it leaves me a nice bracket there to mount lights to. Because it would be easier to mount the lights to that top bracket than to the um, saddlebag, so... Oh yeah, and Biggles gave me a pair of binoculars today. If you're wondering what that uh, black box is. Uh, oh, shit. Uh, yeah. That Toshiba can't get to work. It won't do what I want it to do. It loads Windows 7 gets so far through the installation and then it just sits on a blank screen. The screen is illuminated, the backlight is on but it just sits on a blank screen for some reason. I did get it to finish installation once but then I nudged the laptop and it blew, uh, not blue screen, but it blank screened on me again so but the hard drive is under here and I didn't have the cover on so I'm thinking that maybe there's a faulty hard drive connector on that. Uh, and then my old advent underneath didn't want to play ball either. So last night I was getting a bit ratty by about 11 o'clock and just said sod it and just left them. But uh, I might come back to those tomorrow. I might get one going. Mum, my mum needs a decent laptop. The problem is, I know people say you still use XP, but I actually find with the laptops, because you can't upgrade... Really? <laughs> You're brave. Well, that bike don't fall over. Yeah, anyway, you can't upgrade the video and whatnot on XP, so... I'm actually wondering if that's the reason her little old X Windows XP laptop struggles to play um, videos. It really does. Um, online videos, that is. Such as YouTube videos and videos on Facebook. It hates them. It's so laggy. It's not watchable. I tried today. It's just not watchable. Um, and I know it's not her internet, because my stepdad's plays them absolutely fine, so there's enough speed there for that. And my brother games perfectly fine as well, so I know it's not the internet. Um, but that does seem to be, at least with laptops, not so much with desktops, because you can still upgrade video cards and whatnot. But uh, at least... For that, it doesn't like, or it could just be the laptop not liking it. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to get her a better one done. Hopefully, I can get this one done. If I haven't thrown it out of that window first, because believe me, I would. If I got pissed off enough, I would actually just drop it straight out of the window. I've done it to a mobile phone once. A long time ago, but I did do it to a mobile phone because it pissed me off. 
wouldn't charge. I think the charger sucker, it's an old Nokia. Way before smartphones. And just the charger on the socket on it broke and uh, I just took the SIM card out and luzzed the rest of the phone out the window. Oh. Mm. I think I've got enough of those stickies. <laughs> I actually don't know how many is there and some of them are from last year as well. They're not the new release this year because they're limited edition. Lidl's only run them for a certain length of time. Really? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad I had hold of that. Oh, there goes the binoculars. Well, I'd rather the binoculars hit the floor than the bike. The bike would make a rather large thud. There we go, that shouldn't topple now. Yeah, Mum, she said she was saving this, but I accidentally saw it upstairs and uh, so she said you might as well have it though. I think she was saving it for my birthday. Some actually good looking models in here and give me a few um the inspiration I needed to add some things to this, so I'm actually uh, pretty thankful she gave me that. What the hell is my f camera f finding a face over here? I had the little yellow square comes up come up for the face track feature thingy on this. That won't come up now though. It's fucked it. This phone. This camera does that. Did you? No. Saw someone post a photo of a similar camera to this on um, Facebook. Which I said was their new toy but theirs was um, HD. This one isn't HD. I don't think. I've not seen anything on it that suggests otherwise. Yeah. Not a clue what I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Oh, did I tell you I fixed the um, headphone issue I was having with that PC? Because initially I thought perhaps the right side headphone on there, the right side speaker, whatever you want to call it, had gone faulty because I was getting a rattle. Not all the time, but on some songs I was getting a rattle when I used them on this PC. But the other day, I played a CD through this machine, and I didn't get a rattle at all. So, um, keep in mind, that's a fresh install of everything, fresh install of VLC player, which is what I use on this one. So what I did, I uninstalled VLC from this one, reinstalled it, and that rattle has gone away. So, I don't know if I messed up a setting or something when I was playing with the graphic equaliser. I might have. But uh, the reinstall seems to have fixed it. But it still doesn't like to play CDs. I don't quite know what's going on there. I don't know. I don't think it's a... The um, optical drive drivers. Because it still does everything else. It still burns CDs and whatnot. It just doesn't seem to like... Playing audio CDs. Which tells me they... Maybe I've got an audio driver problem, but the rest of the audio seems to work. I mean, the only other problem is that the front audio doesn't seem to work. The external audio cuts out when I plug something in the front, like headphones, but uh, no sound comes out. So uh, I'm not quite sure. Which, that's actually more than it used to do. It didn't even used to cut it out. I don't know, maybe I have got a driver issue somewhere. It's not too important because my headphones are USB anyway, so I don't really need the 3.5mm jack on the front there. Uh, the only problem is it does limit me when um, I have to replace them because I have to get USB. Which seemed to be a complete pain in the friggin' ass to get. Oh. Still seeing a few posts here and there about that gorilla. Um, 
I did suggest on a post, you know, why didn't they use tranquilizers? But uh, apparently, I didn't actually watch the video. But apparently, the gorilla did start dragging the kid through water and getting a bit rough with the kids. So they didn't think tranquilizers was a good idea. Or give them enough time, because obviously you've got to wait for the tranquilizer to kick in. Uh, I suppose they felt that wouldn't, you know, they didn't have the time to wait for them to kick in. <clears throat> and, uh, um, someone actually made a good point, and this is actually true. Um, I, was, I can't remember what the first one was, but someone's written on this post. Uh, meanwhile, last week, 1,000 people drowned in the Mediter Mediterranean. Where are the petitions for them? Where is the public condemnation of a situation that continues to make people risk their lives on a daily basis? I guess it's all a matter of perspective. It's true. <clears throat> you know, there's lots of other... Th shit going on out there I mean there's fucking there's shitloads of homeless not just in Britain I know most countries probably have some sort of homeless issue but you know no one's petitioning to um, solve the problem are they or to get justice for them you know <clears throat> having said that Maybe us humans, whether we'll admit it or not, actually care about animals more than our own kind. I would hate... I've got to admit it, but I probably do myself. I'd probably get more upset losing my pet than I would. Well, in fact, I've actually cried over losing a pet. But knowing a friend of the family died was it a year and a half, two years ago now? Didn't even shed a tear. <clears throat> yeah, I felt sad. But uh, I don't know, just weird and I feel bad for admitting that. Um, uh, what can I do? I was looking at the cat cross-eyed. Not a good thing to do. Ooh, one hell of a crease between my eyes, haven't I, when I do that? Ooh. <clears throat> a post in Regenerate North Horsham. What have you posted, boss? All oh, right, projects. Summer night markets. Ooh. Well, I've got something to say. I'm just going to turn the camera off and write this reply because it's actually going to be quite lengthy, so I'll be right back. I like Ford Mustangs and I couldn't resist this the other day. Anyway. Reply posted. Replies got back. Yeah. We're all good. <laughs> Um, I was replied to a friend while I was at it, so she didn't think I was ignoring her. Um, yeah. Can't, can't even remember what the hell I was talking about before I turned the camera off. Oh yeah, that paved area. They basically want to hold the... Um, what they call the summer markets there, but... If the TC go ahead and cordon the area off because of a few flaky slabs which it appears to be and not as bad as the news has made it out to be um, but obviously they can't hold it there and that, was good. that will cause a problem but fingers crossed it doesn't <laughs> uh, anyway that Lego Ideas book Mum gave me has actually given me the inspiration I needed to build something, so... I may even spend most of the day doing that tomorrow, I don't know yet. 
<sighs> Laptops to frickin' sort. I've got my hybrid Claude Butler up here. I got the short and you just blah. Dearie me. Actually, speaking of Lego, and there's an article up here. Someone made a life size Lego figure of um, Rick the Fox from um, Zootopia. And uh, it was exhibited at some, I think it was an art exhibition. And, you know, it was all roped off and whatnot, you know, signs do not touch, blah, blah, blah. And someone's child got under, the, or went under the roped off, under the ropes, rather, and pushed over and completely shattered. And it took this guy, apparently, three days and three nights um, to build the figure at a cost of $15,000. It may look a lot of money for something that's not that big, but when you actually look closely, you actually see just how many thousands of bricks it would have taken to build it. There it is. And there's the two pictures. See, it's almost the same height as the um, creator. Um... No doubt the creator has plans drawn up so he could rebuild it. Although that's going to take him an absolute long time. What he should have done is something that a lot of us uh, <laughs> Lego builders actually hate, but we will make exceptions, is to glue the bricks together. Um, now that's usually done for public exhibitions like this for safety reasons as well as uh, to prevent little shit bags from uh, wrecking it <laughs> so he could have glued it together that would have been one option anyway um, I mean builders or fans like me we won't um, glue because well it was a bit pointless because we like to dismantle and rebuild you can't do that if you glue it together, but I make an exception when it's needed. But, uh, rebuilding something like that is not as easy as, say, rebuilding one of these cars. These are all either official sets or part of an official set. Like, uh, these came from the parking garage set. Uh, that's an official separate set. As is that, as is that. They came from the same set actually as those two. So yeah, I've got the instruction books and little cars like that. If it got dropped and broken, I can I can more or less piece the pieces back together without the instruction book. But let's say a kid came in here and actually took it apart brick by brick. You know, reduced it to all its component parts. I've got the instruction book so I can put it back together. No problem. Probably in 15, 20 minutes, something like that, because a vehicle that size really doesn't take you long to build. Um, if it's your own model and you don't have instructions like I never do, I never make my own plans, I could. There is a LEGO designer software out there that allows you to build using the program. In fact, I do believe I have it on the PC. Never used it, but I believe I still have it. Where is it? Do I still have it? There it is. Lego Digital Designer. And you can uh, make instructions with that as well. But uh, I'm not one of these builders that do that. I just start piecing bricks together and uh, make any changes as I go along so if I drop like my fire station for example over there or my hospital that'd be a total pain in the ass to put back together because <laughs> I wouldn't have instructions so yes something like that getting smashed would piss me off but a standard set like those behind me nah 
and uh, when people have broken one of my Lego models, they get they become ever so apologetic. <laughs> you know, as if they've you know broken a lifetime's work or something. But like I said, I've got more sets than my own models, so that's what gets broken the more, the most frequent, and uh, yeah, they're easy to put together, so it doesn't really bother me. It's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. The apology is nice, you know, it's polite. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, I'm not having a moan at getting an apology. I'm just saying, you know, they don't need to be so apologetic over it. <laughs> it's a, it's a, quite amusing to me as well. Yeah. Why is my police station up there further forward than the rest? Do I have to put it like that, or has it slid forward? I don't know, I'll have a look later. <sighs> I can't move from the seat because I've got the power cable plugged in. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to uh, mention. There's not a lot going on on Facebook. I just looked at an article about um, top five completely bonkers British police cars. I wouldn't have classed them as bonkers myself, but I've seen more bonkers, but <sighs> like the Italian Lamborghini Gallardo, you wouldn't outrun that, would you? <laughs> that poxy spider is still above my head, that's what I'm looking at now. It's been there for about three days now. It's moved, but not very far. Oh, that's what I want to mention. Those solar lights I got from Lidl. Um, I am tempted to maybe try and buy one more. But put it in, say, the bedroom where there's no fluorescent light. Um, see how it goes in there because I've got a sneak I don't know why but I've got this feeling that the reason my solar lights keep failing in the kitchen is down to the fluorescent light possibly um, there is someone on YouTube if I remember I'm gonna um, drop a message on his latest video or try and private message him or something if he's got an email, I might try and email him just to query it because uh, he's obsessed with all these solar garden lights and whatnot. So he's got hundreds of videos on his channel where he's taken them apart and modified them and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I'm going to see, well, ask if he's ever encountered such a problem and uh, if he knows, because he's a qualified electrician. Um, so, qualified electrician that's got hundreds of solar lights. Can't think of anyone better to ask, actually. Because it's the only reason it's got me baffled is because I bought those cheap, nasty solar lights, didn't I? Them six for four pounds, or they were seventy nine p each. Um, and at least half of those were coming on at dusk but then going off a certain amount of time later they weren't going off at dawn like they were supposed to um, now these new ones I got from Lidl's they were working perfectly fine as they should for the first few days now they've decided to do the exact same thing these cheap nasty ones are doing um, so I don't know if me going in there repeatedly turning the kitchen light on and off has uh, done some damage to them. It's not a problem because I can modify them so um, hopefully I could bypass the photo cell. So I just have to go in there and turn them on and off with the button. Um, 
leaving the solar cells there to charge the batteries. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I'll have to message him and uh, hopefully get an answer. He's quite a large channel, so there's no guarantee I'll get an answer. Because uh, when you're that popular on YouTube, you get lots of comments and messages and whatnot, so I understand it's hard to keep up. So if I do get a reply, yeah, great. If not, yeah, great. <laughs> oh, I've been sitting on the chair wrong now, my ass hurts. <sighs> oh yeah, I'm watching a vlog and life video as well. I'll have to finish that off before I do that. Right. I'm not sure if that noise was just made by a human, be human being or a car going round the corner. I didn't hear an engine, so it could have been a weird noise made by a human. That wouldn't surprise me in this time. Right. I think I'm going to shut the... camera off. Uh, as for tomorrow, uh, I won't be seeing my mum, because she's working night shift. Usually she's the cleaner at the um, care home she works at, but because they're short staffed this week and the fact that mum's had all the necessary checks done and has done care work in the past and is familiar with the residents, they've asked her if she would, wouldn't mind, you know, doing like a night, a night shift of uh, care work rather than cleaning. It's the manageress's fault because she um, sort of booked too many staff members off on the same day. Oops. <laughs> Apparently it's the second time she's done it since she's been there, but no one's perfect. Although I'm sure that, you know, records are kept of who's off and when, but never mind. <laughs> um, they would just prefer this than bring in an agency staff that the residents don't know, because being some of them do suffer dementia, so it might trigger them off with a bad reaction to it. If they bring in a total stranger, it's possible. And some of them may get a bit of a handful to handle because of it, so... But with at least a couple of familiar, because I've got to have two staff on at night, so at least with two familiar faces, they, there probably won't be any issues. So no, Mum's actually there right now doing an induction thing, you know, being shown what's got to be done, blah, blah, blah. And she does the full night shift tomorrow night, 8 till 8, full 12-hour shift. And, uh... My sister, who also works there as a care nurse, senior care nurse, I might add, um, I'm quite proud of her, actually. I'm actually proud of all my brothers and sisters. They've all done well. Better than me, but won't go there. <laughs> um, she's on call, on emergency call, so if anything does... You know, hopefully not touch wood, everything goes smoothly, but if anything does go tits up, my sister will be called. Because, like I said, she's the on-call senior. <clears throat> she's actually done pretty well. And to think, when she was actually in high school, she wanted to be a hairdresser. <laughs> and now she's gone into a completely different direction and taken on care home work, being a care nurse. <clears throat> yeah, so she's uh, seen a few dead people and seen a few people die. Although the last one wasn't nice for her and she didn't handle it very well. But the main difference was when she's watched residents pass away in the past, it's been through what they call um, I can't remember the name of it now, but a syringe driver, which is basically. 
full of painkillers and drugs to make them as comfortable as possible while they pass away. And they usually pass away in their sleep. So my sister's used to seeing a peaceful passing, if you like. But this one guy, I believe it was Sunday, he um, suddenly, we think, had a heart attack. So my sister's not used to seeing someone, you know, in that position, struggling and needing urgent attention. But uh, no, sadly he didn't make it. <clears throat> but uh, as people say, it's like your last stop, you go there to die in these care homes. Which is pretty much true, once you get... I don't know if you... no, not commit, what's the word? Once you go into a care home, Usually the only way you come out is in a body bag, which is quite sad. <laughs> when you think about it, it's quite sad. And some of them don't even have family. Or very little. Or in some cases, what family they do have are complete and utter assholes, so you get to see a lot there. Anyway... I've got Nemo on the table beside me now. I think I'm rambling on far too much again. Yeah, I'm going to end the video. So, uh, no doubt I could t I could talk for the Olympics. There's a lot more things I could talk about, but that'll do for this video. So thanks for watching. Um, the only things I want to do tomorrow is finish off the hybrid cycle. Let's do a bit of Lego building. Have a wander around town, maybe. I've got money burning a hole in my pocket, as the old saying goes, and uh, that's about it. So, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.